Hello and good evening. My name is John. And I'm Allie. And we're here with the new expansion, the Kobolds and Catacombs. What do you prefer, Kobolds or Catacombs? I don't know. I like Catacombs better. Those those candles look dangerous. Well, they, they're, they're, they're needed. It's dark. I mean, it doesn't look as bad as a sparkler, but yeah. it still looks pretty bad. We're going to open some packs. But we also get a few packs to log in. And we get a little tree, which is the Druid weapon. Is that the druid weapon? But you can't play a jewel on it. Can't play a druid anymore. I got 9,499 wins. Can't play it anymore. And my quest is begin a dungeon run. Okay. So that's a new solo adventure, but we're gonna, we're gonna go to the shop. Uh huh. You yeah. got I need 44 packs. No. Where is it? This. We want. How do you do multiples? There you go. 44 packs. Okay. Is that enough? Yeah. Let's do that 100. Okay. Hundred packs. All right, so I'm guaranteed a legendary. Is there a card that you want specifically? No, I don't. What? Man. Feral Gibbler. Spooky chest. So this card's actually pretty decent. The one that gives you divine shield and draw a card. I like ones that self cycle. This card's not that great. This you already one. got two of the same card. I got two two of the two of the same cards. What? Oh, sorry, those aren't the same. So, best card in that pack was the I like this one, that one's okay. Scorpomatic! That's not very good. This one's not that good. Seven grubs. Seven grubs. Close your board with grubs. I like Sleepy Dragon for the look. I don't know if he's any good. We're guaranteed a legend in the first ten packs. This one Murmuring might have some synergy. Your yeah. next battle cry this turn triggers twice. So what I would imagine in this one, in this situation, like the best use of this guy right now is you do doppel you do him for two, mm -hmm. doppelgangster for six, mm -hmm. putting you at eight, and then evolve. So you'll actually get you'll fill your board because the doppelgangster worth five and he'll be one. So it'll be not full, but you'll have six guys and then evolve them up. Mm -hmm. I like this guy also. Reveal a spell in each deck if yours costs more, draw it. I think that's pretty good. Okay. What? Man. I like the way the card pack looks. Lesser Diamond Spell Stone. So this one um, resurrects two minions. If you cast four spells with this in your hand, it'll upgrade and it'll do like three then and then four. That one might be. Okay. It's not great. I don't need to do this. A Luth, the mage card. At the end of your turn, draw three cards. Mage weapon. Okay. So that's what I wanted, because I wanted to try playing mage again, and I do not have four. Golden Comet! Green Jelly! So I heard this card's very, very good. No, not that one, the other one, Twilight Trick. This one, summon one one cost. I don't even Ident unidentified elixir. Yeah, they should really have a UI that like folds out to show you what this could be, but it's you have minion plus two plus two and then something else. <laughs> so Scrooge got secret this time. Well, and we got the Slacky. Return when you destroy Recruit the turn. What, what's recruit mean? That means it puts a menu. A weapon, it basically pulls a menu. <laughs> So this one is one random spell with upgrades to be two three spells if you play elementals. Like you right. Deal three damage to a minion and summon a three three wolf. That's not too bad. That's pretty good. For four mana, that's bad. Both wolves with three damage. For two mana, that costs four, and a and a three three for two, like it kind of works. Math, math. Yeah. And a death rattle of a random minion in your deck. That could be really good or could be bad. I'm not sure. Um, this one seems a little slow. And two candle shots. Ugh. Five damage, five mana, 
Or at least three, two, and then three later. For eight damage, doesn't seem that great. Could be okay, but it's minion only. And then this one I think is cool. Whenever you cast a spell, gain armor equal to its cost. So if you're a late game mage, you can be like, here's a um, Firelands portal and I gain seven armor. This one's also really good. It's a one drop for one two that draws you a card and does do two damage to you, but that's pretty nice. Hmm. I also like Wandering Monster, although that's pretty random. Yeah, you're, you're like, Smith. Reduce the cost of a random weapon in your hand by two. I don't think this is good enough to put in, in all the no. weapon classes. Rare, rare. Hooked Reaver is pretty good. If you have 15 health or less, you get it's a plus three, plus three, so a seven, seven, four. Yeah. Um. Rare, Freaking I love the art for him. At the end of your turn, so someone norms. a random one cost minion. I don't know if that's good enough because you're paying. This is a one drop in stats, and you're you're getting another one. So you're getting like it's a one drop for two. So you're paying a premium. If you can keep it alive for a little while, it might be good. But I just don't know. This one's pretty good. Recruit three minions that cost two or less. So this one is saying for four mana, draw and play three minions. Eight cost minions, but then you have to have eight cost minions in your deck. Yeah. So this one's like save one mana. For, like this card is not that good because it's like uh, if you don't have any cost, this is a really bad deal. And I think that's one of the things that this yeah, is that it requires a lot of deck one is bonus effect in your hand yeah that's unidentified so it could be plus it could be all different stuff so like a weapon could come out yeah once you draw it you know what it does oh, okay. this guy's okay get a coin um that one's really good deal six so, damage that's only good for dragons but there's, there's a lot, a lot of dragons. Of dragons. Yeah. Yeah. Not this one, but there are a lot of dragons. Everybody's in this one. I don't think I have any dragons in my own. Yes, but a lot of people play the, um, the one that does two damage to everything. There's a dragon that does a Shuffle five scrolls into your deck. When drawn, cast a random spell. That could be dangerous. It's not good. No. This one's also bad. Taunt, Divine Shield, zero, two. Like, why would you ever? You can all get some Psychic Probe is mind vision, but only on spells in their decks. So that's Psionic kind of okay. Probe? Yeah, whatever. Dire Mole's all right. It's a one, three beast for one. So it's okay. <laughs> I just don't really have one drop that's really good. Hey, Kerbal. Yeah. Branching choose pass. twice. Yeah, so you get to do draw a card, plus one attack or six armor, and you choose again twice. So you do it twice. This one's really good. Combo draw two minions. Which is really nice. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Dragon. If you give your opponent two coins, I think that's really risky against priests because they, they're all the, the one Raza priest that just like mind blast you or whatever. If you're holding any cards you didn't start with in your deck, this reduces cost by two. So this is the Chillin Yeti. It's also elemental, but it's also elemental. And in a lot of situations, it's a two drop. So like the ideal thing is you have Babbling Book on one. So you play that. It gives you a spell for free, for free that does not start in your deck. And then this is a two drop. So you go one, two into this guy and you have a great start. So that's that like the dream.
Crystal Lion. Costs one less for each silver hand recruit you control. Hardar Creeper looks pretty cool. Costs one less whenever a minion dies or loses your hand. This one can be okay. You remember that? Especially that, if you leave that in your hand from the beginning. Right. right. You remember that um, Shaman card, the, the, the Lurker from below? Which is a 5-5 five, five, and it costs one less for every totem you play. Yeah. So that was this one's actually pretty good. This is, I could see this going into like a Shaman Evolve deck because it'll come out as a 5-5, five, five, which is pretty strong. But then it evolves into 8, and 8 is the best uh, best card line. Uh, Shuffle a copy of a minion, cop shuffle a copy of this minion into your deck. Well, I like it. So you'll never run out. Well, unless I sheep them all. Gain to do, do damage to the minion, gain armor to upgrade. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, druids will naturally get that, it just doesn't seem like great. one every 40. I like this one. Only you can target this with spells and hero powers. I don't know what to put it in. Poke it with some other mini. Yeah, it won't overheal, so that's good. So we are going to do a guarantee of our five powers. Golden bad luck. Kingsbane. Rogue. That's the rogue. That was one of the ones I was looking at. Death rattle, shuffle this into your deck. It keeps any enchantment. So you put poison on it. It never loses the poison. That'd be nice. Yeah. This one's the hunter one. Summon play secrets to upgrade, but it summons two wolves for five, which is already an okay deal. But playing one secret makes it three wolves. And then... Yeah, that's nice and difficult. It's hard to, to gauge. Cataclysm, destroy all minions, discard your I mean, it's a really cheap game. I don't like that card again. So, there's a possibility for the druid, like this one here, being recruit two minions that cost four or less. So, if you have those tigers in there, theoretically you get those tigers above. So this is the one that's really good. If you're holding a dragon, deal three minion damage to all minions. So that's a really good answer. But like this one, I'm pretty good. Right I don't know why it's got so much. This one's okay. Add three silver on three. First, let it be five mana, summon four one ones, which is reasonable. Bam. Destroyed one of your destroyed weapons here. Like these kind of ones could be really good with the weapons. Seems like there's a lot of weapons. And there's a few. I think it's um better than the quest. 
Darkness. Starts dormant. Battle cry shuffles three candles into the enemy deck. When drawn, this awakens. Huh? Oh. That's so you really shuffle cool. cards in their deck. Yeah. Um, yeah. If they all three get played, then or drawn, then. You get I don't know if it's any good because you have some dare to burn. Like unless you can find yeah. them, even then it doesn't really charge. So it's one of those things where. They're gonna have a chance to respond to it. Yeah, but it's still 2020. But they're always gonna have a chance to respond to it. Or a shadow of death, or a shadow of death, or a shadow of death. gonna be like, oh, I know what's going to happen. I'm going to draw a card for the lack of a shadow of death. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, the biggest advantage of it is you put that in the deck that are like, the Alba, Sadakis, and Raza, and your deck is like duplicates. You put that in, you play that early, then they have duplicates in their deck, and they can't do anything. Battlecry, return other minions to your hand. They cost one. So this works really good in a Battlecry one. I mean, for seven, seven for six isn't bad in its own, but like. So if you make a Battlecry deck, and you put that on this one. That's how that This one's really good for the rogue one because it draws a weapon for your deck. So I want my, I want my dagger. Yeah, Has armor equal to attack equal to your armor can attack. No, I don't know if that. Ah, oh, legendary! Skull of the man, Manoril. At the start of your turn, summon a demon from your hand. Right, 
I'm going to say 1,400 dust. Okay. And I did plus everything before this. 20 for 100? I got closer. 20 for 100? You got, you got right on there. I got close. But you didn't have any duplicates or legendary. No, you can't. And you only had a few duplicates of your, of your epics. I have a, a few. Alright, well, I'm going to cut the video here and then I'm going to start a dungeon run. I'm gonna 